Okay, I'm going to show you how to um, animate a character that um, is created in Photoshop using uh, Adobe Flash and then to put the character into Construct 2. What I've done is I've created a very, very basic uh, character. Uh, as you can see there, it's just a bunch of uh, rectangles. So this character uh, is just made up of all these different black shapes but you can see I've got separate pieces uh, and they're all on different layers obviously if you were drawing your image uh, you're gonna do a lot more detail than this but importantly um, each piece that has a joint needs to be on a separate layer um, so what I've done is I've saved this uh, to my desktop as a PSD file um, fine as the PSD file I've not got the background on it but it doesn't really matter I'm going to switch to uh, animate which is just an updated flash and I'm actually uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, I've created a new scene here uh, but I'm going to change the size of this so the width is going to be uh, let's just have a look see what I've got on my image so it's about 240 by 400 uh, so we'll call that 240 by 400 right I'm going to bring the uh, character in so file um, import I always import to library it's the character in there and just leave it uh, standard uh, and the characters then there is a PSD in there. I can actually then just drag this character on. See there, I've got this uh, this character. And uh, what I'm actually going to do, first thing I'm going to do is this is all sort of one asset, uh, but I want to break it up into its individual pieces. So first thing I'm going to do is to uh, break it up, which is uh, modify break apart or control B. And you can see goes to its individual pieces uh, now I've got that uh, what I can actually then do is utilize the uh, the bone tool uh, which I can use for each of these pieces first thing I'm going to do actually is to turn these into individual symbols um, the uh, shortcut key for turning these into individual symbols is, is uh, F8 so I'll leave them as graphics, nothing fancy, but I can name them. So I've got the head, neck, um, what should we call this? So uh, top, so arm, top, left. Bottom left and arm bottom hand. So I'm going to just work my way through here. Uh, so that's the body. You can see these are all appearing on the side. Um, we've got the leg uh, top left. leg bottom left and the uh, leg bottom foot so that's all that side done um, arm top right nearly done arm bottom right Bottom hand. Oops. Um. Bottom right hand. Okay. Just the uh, bits of leg now. So there's the uh, leg. Uh, top right. Like 
tonight. And the leg. Bottom right of the bolt. Why have I done that? Well, uh, as individual symbols, these can all be um, connected together using the bone tool, uh, and they'll all use uh, they'll all move individually, uh, which is what we want them to do. And just to sh show you how this works, uh, so we can say that uh, starting off from the legs, uh, we want him to move out from here now that's on the body uh, so we what we need to do is to uh, lock this to each individual piece so um, this would be to that like there that would be then to that like there that would be then to that foot we don't need to go across the foot because it will actually pivot around this joint. Um, let's just zoom in, make life easier. And let's undo. So just trying to play a little bit awkward. There we go. So that one, so that one, this one. Uh, and we didn't need to do that. Um, okay, so from the, the top up, uh, oops, make sure we get the right one. Uh, to the shoulders, oh, we're already on there. Um, so actually up to the neck. Uh, and then we can go to, to this piece here. Uh, it's a second piece and then down to the hand same on this side to that piece there bottom there and the hand and then also from the neck to the the head let's leave it to there um okay so that's all sort of rigged uh together and you can see what's actually happened is everything on layer one's disappeared and it's all gone to this armature uh, part uh, what that actually is, this is where we can do the posing. So if I move along to um, say frame 10 and put a keyframe in there, F6, uh, if you don't remember, and then use the um, selection tool, what I can actually do with this selection tool, you see there is we can actually move these joints. Now, the problem we've got there is that we don't really want um, this piece to be moving so I'm just going to move that back and I'm going to select that specific bone go into properties and you can see down there uh, joint rotation if we disable that one and that's not enabled either we're going to have the same sort of issue down here so disabled there it's done um, and let's just have a look now how this looks. Um, so you can see now that's not actually moving. Uh, and we can individually pick these pieces out and get our character sort of doing the strong arm, uh, walking, and such like. From there, we can pick the joint. Squash that up there. Okay, so that's uh, a rigged character actually in there. And what you'll see is that when you pose, it actually animates between the poses. Um, okay, so what I, what I would actually do is that um, I would also bring in import to library um, and I've got this walk cycle, uh, which is from uh, Google, um, and I would actually then bring this into the bottom layer and scale it up. Oops. Let's form it up.
Okay, so we've got that there, and for the duration, say 50 frames, I'd make sure there were frames in there. So we've got those frames. Um, and then what I would do is at the beginning, where we want it to be this, I'd take that image and I would start it. Let's put it into outline mode. You can just see underneath. I'm going to turn rulers on. Uh, so I'm going to view uh, rulers. Reason why I'm going to do that is so that I can put guides in. Yeah. All will be revealed. Let's get that last one in. So I've got guides in. Turn that back on. I can see now where I actually should be. So, um, so we'll start off with that, uh, and then these pieces uh, we can move them into place. Uh, I'm not going to mess about too much with this, but uh, I can get this posed. It's not quite uh, quite right. That needs to be bent up like that like that so what I do is that's where we're starting and then say a few uh, let's get rid of this other pose delete that oops deleted all of it uh, we need to clear that pose that's it uh, so say at frame five I'll put another keyframe in there with that along one uh, and then I'd change the post to that. Um, so at that point, uh, put a keyframe in and I'll move everything according to this uh, particular pose. So that was quite up at that point, not too far. The uh, body's actually a bit further over there. Uh, okay, so let's say you know this could be something that takes a while. Spinning foot. Um, okay. So getting that in there, uh, you can actually see. That this is going to eventually going to be this uh, running person. Okay, so when I've finished, um, I don't want to show the the uh, background layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn that into a guide layer. We can still see it, but what actually happens is that when uh, when you run the animation, um, yeah, you you can't see the background on it. So what I'm going to do is uh, say I've completed this and I've done all the pauses. Uh, I would say file, export as a movie, and I'm going to create a folder on my desktop and call it uh, walk, and the file name's walk, and it's going to be a PNG sequence, and so basically I've got 50 frames there of that, uh, it's going to output 50 frames of that size. Let's have a quick look. So desktop walk. And we've got those 50 frames. Um, needed to turn the background off. But uh, you can see there, we've got the 50 frames. Uh, there's only so many of them got uh, that in there. But uh, if I'd completed it, they would have all those in now once I've got these I can then go into construct uh, put a sprite in there uh, get our animation section up and say import frames from files instead of sprite strip and they would be from walk 
bring them all in, not just the one. Uh, code files, go, select all of them, control A. Uh, so they're there, get rid of the original one from there. And you see what we've got is all those, as I say, the background shouldn't be on there. Uh, delete it uh, from that and that then will be the animated character and that's how you create a character in Photoshop bring it into Flash use a bone tool to animate it and then bring it into Construct as a series of slides simple